In this video I'll be showing you how to use the full backup option using Magnet Field 5.0. From the main screen of Magnet Field we will go into Configure and then Global and on the main tab this is where we can see our custom My Documents folder. Wherever this directory is pointing is where the software will pull all of the backup files from for all of your jobs and we can simply hit the red X and then we can go into backup and you'll notice there is a new full backup tab and we'll go into this we can see here that the backup will store your license your settings and the current job and you do have an option to include all jobs from the job folder and this is where you have to set the custom my documents directory if you do not store jobs in the default directory as per below. This full backup option allows the user, in case your PC is not running well, to fully back up all of your magnet field data before you need to wipe the data collector and start over again. Or if you want to transfer all the data over to another data collector. The only thing is if you take your license from your data collector to another data collector the license will need to be reset as it will have to be activated on a new device ID and this can be done by position partners and will take overnight to reactivate. And we can see here we can set up a backup file path and this is where we're going to save the full backup file in this case we are going to be saving it to a thumb drive so we can put it into a new data collector and hit the green tick to save the backup file path and we can see here once we have created this backup to restore the backup we need to run the magnet field installer and select restore from backup and once you have set your backup file path we can simply hit create backup you will now have a warning saying magnet field must be closed to create the full backup. Please click yes to restart magnet field and create the backup. And we will hit yes. And now we can see the magnet field backup screen. And we can see the backup in progress bar along the bottom and going up as it's storing the background data. The backup time can vary depending on how much data is required to be backed up and stored. Once the backup has been completed, you will now get a little warning screen saying that the backup operation has successfully been completed and just reminding you to restore a backup. Please run the magnet field installer and select restore from backup. So we will untick launch magnet field because we're not going into magnet field and we can hit the finish button. This will completely close out of the backup and we can go into our file explorer onto our USB and we can see it has created a backup file. We can now take this backup file onto another data collector ready to be installed. Now we can insert our USB into the other data recorder and we can see here on the main screen that we don't have magnet field installed. We need to run the magnet field installer and this is just being run from the USB and we'll hold down on the install file and go run as administrator and we want to install to this PC. Ideally it would be good to have an internet connection we can now see that the magnet field installer under the second option has prompted us we can restore from a backup if we wish to. This screen in the installer will only appear if magnet field isn't installed on the device. If magnet field is already installed and you are running the installer again, you will not have these options. You will only have the options to uninstall and repair. So we want to tick restore from backup and we are going to browse for the file on our USB. We can highlight the file and hit the green tick. And now we will hit next. Accept the license agreement and hit next. Install for anyone and hit next. Leave the default installation destination and go next. We just want to install magnet field and we will hit install. Now we can see that the install bar is counting up and it is installing the software from 
the installer. Once magnet field is finished installing, you will now see that the magnet field installer is now restoring all the data from the backup file that we previously made on the other data collector. And again, depending on how much data was saved, will dictate how long that this backup will take. If any files during the backup process are already installed on the data collector, you will get this information message saying that it already recognises the file and you have the ability to override, skip or rename that file or you can apply it to all files. And we can now see that the magnet field has finished installing and it was successfully installed on the device. All files of the full backup were successfully restored and we would want to launch magnet field now and we'll hit finish. So we can see here that the MJF that we were working on before on the other data collector has come through and we can go into job, open job and we can see that our jobs have come across from our other data collector and we can navigate back to the main screen of magnet field and then we can go into configure and then global and we can see that our settings have come across as well and we can hit the red X to go back to the main screen of magnet field and we can go into the magnet symbol and then we can go about and we can see in this case the serial number of the license has come through we can go home and we can go into configure survey and we can select from library for the GPS and we can see that all of our configurations for our GPS have come through as well so we can hit the red X and go back to the main screen of magnet field and we've successfully restored our magnet field with all of our jobs settings and configurations and license from the other data collector and now we can continue working on our new data collector with all of our data and this concludes the magnet field 5.0 video on the full backup option